I just woke up to this news, all right? I've taken the last hour to wrap my head around how stupid this is, okay? I don't know what's going on for Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed France, that account over there, but those guys, they're not thinking straight. Listen to this, okay? Katana and Yasuke's mask made by Pure Arts Limited, or even artwork from the game. Our Ubisoft stand at Japan Expo offers you an immersive experience. We'll immerse you in the spirit of the game with us until Sunday, July 14th. Okay? Well, that seems neat. How about, uh, just nice of them to just put all this neat stuff out there. Let's say, oh, wow, look at that. Somebody painted that on some stuff. Oh, that looks really Japanese-y. Wow, look at that. The hand grips in the middle, you don't see that too often, do you? Yeah, that's... Wait a minute. The hand grips in the middle? And it's got two... Ba no, they wouldn't... No, no. That, that would be silly to just go and just steal some other property's, you know, thing, right? Like, you just go and take another character's sword like that. No, nah, they wouldn't have done that. That's just a coincidence that it's like that, right? Yeah. So, oh, and look at that. There's the helmet they were talking about. That looks, um, that looks eye party quality. Neat. All right. Well, I'm sure the person who made this worked very hard on it, but. Yeah, so we should also figure out, right? Where did this come from? This is really neat stuff. Look at that. It's a neat, neat custom mask, helmet sort of thing. Looks like it's made out of rubber. Neat. All right. And then there's that thing, the sword with the little holdery doodad. Got some kanji on there. I don't read kanji. Apparently, Ubisoft France doesn't either. But anyway, um, and then there's this thing. Isn't that neat? But that's, uh, but that's there, doing that thing. You might be wondering, like, wow, this is all very intricate stuff. Wow, what a display. Thanks, Ubisoft France. Oops, never mind. This Japanese Twitter user, X user if you prefer, says, if you're looking for an official Assassin's Creed Shadows uh, merchandise piece, feel free to check out Amazon. Wait a minute. Wait, that looks familiar, no, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Well, hold on, let's go back. That's strange. Is that the same one? Oh, it's the same one. Well, that's weird. And what was that? From, from Amazon. Just from, that's, wait a minute. Oh, uh, and the geisha too. The little geisha stand. Oh, look at that, look at that. Right, and then we'll go over here and we'll just, we'll just, uh, oh. Oh. Well, there it is. Did you know that Ubisoft is a budget indie dev studio that just doesn't have the money to generate their own stuff? Did you know that? Did you know that they can't hire somebody to take some nail polish and write something neat on a, uh, on a sword stand of their own? Did you know that they can't have those things custom made? Did you know that there isn't an Etsy store in the world that can make you a custom katana? Did you know that? Did you know there's no way at all possible to have a custom-made Japanese imitation katana made. There are also zero reproduction groups, right? Zero people that try to specialize in this in their own hobbyist way and have built up followings. None of those people exist. And there certainly aren't actual Japanese sword makers who may or may not have things for sale that could be part of this. And also, like... <laughs> It would be totally crazy to have somebody who is a reenactment professional for this era to show up in his regalia and take pictures with fans. That would be completely out of the question, right? But it gets a little weirder, doesn't it? It gets a little weirder. So let's find out what this booth actually looks like. Oh. Oh, well, at least it's handicap accessible. It's really nice of them to put that sign there just so people know that, you know, we are okay to bring your handicap accessible self in here. Let's go. All right, good job, Ubisoft France. Really keeping the priorities straight. And, uh, well, that's nice. Look at that. That's really neat. How about it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a, there's a chest, right? There's a treasure chest. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. Hmm? And some paper doors. Yep, that's, that's Japanese-y. Yep, that's neat. Oh, wait. Um, 
Never mind. Look at that. Uh, it's actually a children's birthday treasure chest. Huh. Well, how about that? Where are the Japanese elements I bought on Amazon? <laughs> Asked this uh, Japanese Twitter user. I don't know, guys. In the last video, I told you that they were now being uh, accused and acknowledging, by the way, that they had stolen protected Japanese historical imagery and iconography. It's gotten so bad that that uh, council member, I believe that's what he goes by, council member Mr. Hamada, has, has decided to start hearing public opinion about what to do about this game. This guy has an intention of writing up a letter and formally addressing the prime minister about this in the next session. That's what's going on, guys. That that and now now the Ubisoft France is like, screw it. This looks Japanesey. Let's get this treasure chest from from Amazon that's intended for a children's birthday party. We couldn't possibly go yard sailing and find something from the period that at least was an antique. Nah, we can't do that. What we can do is we can go to Amazon. We can go to Amazon and, and do this. And see, Grums even weighs in on this, all right? So Grum, Grums comes in and he says, We hired experts and historians. We spared no expense. We respect the Japanese, says Ubisoft. And he says, also Ubisoft. We decided that giving our fake samurai a $39 katana from One Piece was the best way to represent our respect and triple a, quadruple A budget. Quadruple A, by the way. That's how special they are. And it's at this point that we should probably be pointing out that, yes, in fact, that is Zoro's sword, right? We're all aware of that. It says right here, it says, One Piece, Zoro Sandai Sword. And look at that. Look at that. That's the very same stand, even. How about that? And so this is where we're at with Ubisoft. They don't care. They don't care. They're going to take stuff from One Piece now and just say, that's ours. That's what we do now. It's red, so obviously it belongs to Assassin's Creed, right? Right? They think you're stupid. They think you're stupid. They think you're going to look at that and you're going to be like, well, I don't read kanji, and I don't immediately recognize a red sword, so, yep, that's Ubisoft. That's Assassin's Creed. That's what they expect you to do. This should be more insulting to people who are fans of the franchise and have any interest in One Piece as well. This would be an intensely offensive to people who find that uh, franchise more interesting than Assassin's Creed, because guess what? Here we are with them stealing it. Now, let's get into a little bit further kind of information here. So now we need to understand that the Japanese YouTubers are picking up on this, right? So they have a little bit more information on this whole thing. And as Grums brings this to us, we're going to go through this. And it says, the Japanese anger over AC shadows is exploding. Ubisoft's defenders and even the CEO would have you believe that the Japanese outrage over Assassin's Creed Shadows is just a bunch of Western racists. But Japanese YouTubers are speaking out and they are mad. Japanese AC fans view the, this as their one chance to play as a Japanese man in an, an Assassin's Creed game. And they were robbed and will never get this chance again. And on top of that, Ubisoft's CEO called them racist and hateful for saying so. Very inclusive, guys. Ubisoft pandered, and, but not to the Japanese. They continue to insult them by mixing up plants, se plant seasons, and even using Chinese characters for Japanese names. And as we just saw, they'll just take your stuff. That belongs to One Piece. It belongs to Assassin's Creed now. It's that I made this meme, right? The guy walks up, hands this to another guy, and he says, I made this. And the guy that got it looked at this, and he says, you made this. And then he says, I made this. Just like that. And so on top of that, Ubisoft CEO called them racist and hateful for saying so. Ubisoft pandered. Now, these two Japanese YouTubers explain, one in English and the other in Japanese, one, that the arrogance of Ubisoft to want to have their samurai in a game uh, set in Japan. They talk about this. The touting of historical accuracy and then getting so much wrong. The editing of Wikipedia to lay claim that Yasuke is a samurai on no evidence, ignoring Japanese historians, getting architecture details wrong, customs wrong, and seasonal plants wrong. Even after bragging, they hired non -local histori a non-local historian uh, to consult, using Chinese characters, language characters, not story characters, for famous Japanese in promo pieces. Uh, 
Ubisoft CEO calling Japanese who complain malicious and hateful by implying they are racist. And you see right here, this fellow's real. He's talking about it. Listen, Ubisoft. He says, we were first looking for someone who could be our samurai. In other words, someone who could be, be our eyes despite not being Japanese. And you remember, we talked about this earlier on the channel, right? You could check that video out in the, in the log here if you want to search non-Japanese eyes, because that's what they said, right? Famitsu went in and changed this after the fact, but in the original interviews, they said non-Japanese eyes. Why are you telling? They didn't do this for Assassin's Creed in Egypt. They didn't do this for Assassin's Creed in Italy. They didn't do this for Assassin's Creed in France. They didn't do it for Assassin's Creed in America. Connor's born in the USA. Connor's born in what is considered America. So, again, like, why did the Japanese have to suffer this indignity? What was the problem with Yamauchi Taka? What was the matter with that character? Nothing. Problem was, is he didn't cross off a box they wanted crossed off. We'll go on. This user continues, says, uh, don't use the idea of black as a shield, Ubisoft. And so this guy's calling them out for just saying, like, oh, you're racist if you don't like our game. That's racist. Genius, right? Ubisoft, the biggest brains. And so uh, not a repulsion, it's indifference. It's written in font they use is not Japanese font. So as you can see, What's down here, right, uh, on the yellow portions that are highlighted, these are not Japanese uh, language characters. These are Chinese language characters that find their way in there. Now, I get confused myself, but one of the ways that I try to remind myself the difference between Japanese character, uh, language characters and Chinese language characters is that Chinese language characters tend to be more square. They tend not to have as many swooping lines as Japanese characters do. Japanese language characters tend to have more lines and twists and uh, squiggly pieces. Again, I'm a Westerner. I don't know what these kanji mean. If you throw any of them in front of me, I'm not going to be able to tell you. I seriously don't know what kanji stands for. I could take my best guess if you're showing me a kanji and a picture. I could take my best guess on what that means, but I'm only relating the image to the shape. That's it. I don't know what it means on its face if you just showed me a bald <laughs> kanji. I'm not going to know what it means. But the only way I remain, I can separate these two, that I remain like aware of what is a Chinese language character as opposed to a Japanese language character, is that the Chinese one tends to be square and the Japanese one tends to have like swoopity loops. So I'm just saying like, that's just me. That's what I notice. It may not be the 100% truth. I'm not sure every Chinese kanji or Chinese language character stays a square, but I don't know, you know? Like I said, I'm just a Westerner. I can only do what I can do with the assets I'm given. I, I haven't invested the time into learning kanji. Maybe it's time, I guess. It seems like I'm going to have to if, game, if corporations like this are going to continue to abuse the Japanese culture. Might as well learn kanji so I can at least tell what the people on the ground are saying. But we'll go on and we'll talk more about this too. So here we are. So Ubisoft sent out special Assassin's Creed statues to streamers in Japan and it didn't go well. This is intensely offensive, all right? This is the problem, okay? Take a look at this. It's very tiny. Hold on. <laughs> I, uh... Forgive me, it's, I'm just waking up to this information. I've only just taken an hour here to understand all of it, so I'm a little behind on my setup. So here we are. These, you'll notice these two crests that are circled here. You'll notice these two crests that are circled. It says, this is a wrong crest. This is the Toyotomi's clan, uh, Toyotomi clan's crest, as you see right here, that's on Yasuke's banner that's on the back of his armor. And then, uh, excuse me, that's, uh, the banner flag's poked into the ground. I'm sorry, I just noticed the post down there. Um, the, uh, it says Toyotomi clans, it should be Oda's. So Oda Nobunaga is who Yasuke in the game even is serving. Yet he carries a, a matching banner wearing Toyotomi clan. Now the problem is, is that the Toyotomis were the ones that overthrew Oda. They were the ones that overthrew Nobunaga. Hattori uh, Hanzo may have been the one that uh, battled um, Nobunaga into his demise. Feel free to look that up. I don't want to get into the history lesson. The video will be much longer than it is right now if I try to explain that whole incident. But 
these two things being together, for instance, let me, let me say this. This would be like a Union soldier wearing a Confederate flag on his back, okay? This would be very confusing to anybody who's aware of that time period of why someone who works for the guy in power is sporting the banner that's in his colors, by the way. You see the flag matches him, matches his armor. The gold and um, emerald, dark emerald, I guess? Deep emerald, I think, is that color? Sage? Sage, right? That's the color, sage. Um, exactly, that's the color of his armor, that sage greeny color. Uh, and so you see that, that matches him, that is intended to be paired with Yasuke. And so this is, again, this is like the guy that's in charge, where, the, working for the guy that's in charge, then you're wearing the banner of the guy that kills him. What is this? What, what brain damage is this? <laughs> again, like, you know, I guess, you know, maybe they're fans of, John, of uh, Wilkes Booth there, the guy that wiped out Lincoln. And then this one, again, is very tiny. I assume it's a screenshot from a phone, so we'll, we'll take a look at this one. These are the wrong kanji characters. These are the same character, but they are written incorrectly. Now, again, I don't read that, but as you can see, these are stretched out. You can see that someone went in and squished it down in order to make it fit in the, underneath that one, right? Underneath that, uh, the kanji on top. And then in the next line over, the next, uh, the next character over, you know, they, they unsquished it. They switched it back out to its original position. And I assume this other one, again, like you take a look at that, that's squatted as well. You can see the, where they didn't, someone prepared all of this from like a, probably a vector document, maybe off of a stock uh, vector website. Vector is the uh, art, um, what the art is, what the art classification is for like advertising material. When you see like, um, pictures in magazines and things like that um, that aren't like photographs that are graphic, for instance, that are graphics. You see a big letter and a bunch of like um, color boxes next to it with text inside. That's usually vector art. And so what vector art does is that you can resize it, squish it, and stretch it without causing pixelation. It's a lossless image format, if you will. And so what we have with this is that it appears that someone found this stuff, perhaps verified it was the correct kanji, right? That it was meant to express this. Because again, what you have to understand is that when you pair, when you pair a kanji that is for uh, like uh, birds, and then you pair it next to a car, this means something different now. It does not mean bird car. That, that's, it means something different now. So when you go pairing these up and then squishing them and stretching them, you end up with entirely different meanings here. And I, whoever wrote this up did not provide an English translation, translation of what these warped kanji now mean, now that the defining characteristics of them are squatted down to the point where they may mean something different in order to be in concert with what they think is the correct kanji here. I don't know for sure. Let me know down in the comments below what if this is correct, if they have warped this too far and now it means into something, now it means something different. I'm not even sure what it says. It could say this way to Tokyo. I don't know. I have no idea what that says there. But we'll go, we'll go on and take a look further into what's going on with them. Now, Grums provided this uh, information about what's going on with Ubisoft's display there at the, at the French Expo, the Japan Expo in France, right? So here we go. It says, the other booths were crowded, but Assassin's Creed Shadows booth, well, as you can see, not so populated, not so busy. The chairs were used as resting spots. I wonder if the French are angry as well. And it would appear that even with a display in the background, nobody's looking at it. They're not watching that. They're just hanging out on the benches like, whew, thanks for putting me seats here. Uh... Assassin's Creed guy. You guys still make those? <laughs> That's what my estimation is of the average person wandering through and finding this mess. But I do want to close out with this, okay, guys? We got a lot of people in the comments on the last one saying we're wrong, that this is fake, that Mr. Hamada's inventing the outrage. He's trying to engineer a political career off of it that I'm inventing something out of this, that the Japanese don't truly feel this way. I assume the people writing these things in the comments are Ubisoft employees. I can't imagine a fan even being able to ignore this now. So here we have it. We have why Yasuke 
A song parodying Ubisoft and Sweet Baby Inc. with Assassin's Creed Shadows is about to reach 1 million views, becoming a hit in Japan and uniting audiences worldwide. If the views keep going up, it will soon surpass Ubisoft's official Shadows, uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay trailer. Now, let's just take a look. We'll see this. You know, Elon showing Elon. Elon said that DEI kills art. And look at that. 902,000 views in five days. And this person is using um, Japanese kanji here in order to describe themselves. Now, you'll notice, too, just like I said before, there's bendy parts here, whereas you don't see that too often with Chinese language characters. So we'll get into this, though. It says, nice to meet you. My name is Cabbage, and I introduce games in Japan. Currently, Assassin's Creed Shadows being viewed as a problem in, ja in the Japanese community. As the debate grows day by day, we Japanese have decided to express our sadness and anger towards the game in a song and deliver it to the whole world. So here you have it. You want to check that out? I will make sure there's a link to it down in the description so you can get on with this summer banger as well. But here we have it. Ubisoft not only steals Japanese, protected Japanese historical imagery and iconography, but they also go around just stealing current day anime stuff. It even says in the Amazon listing that that's Zolo, Zoro Sword. Sorry, I remembered Zolo. Zoro Sword. What are they doing? I mean, what did you hope to accomplish? You're inviting people who are familiar with Japanese culture and then you're going in and stealing stuff from Japanese culture, expecting these people not to notice. Like I said, how hard is it to go to Etsy and have a fake sword made? How hard is it to go buy one that's real? I don't know what's going on with Ubisoft. I had no idea that they were just this small little independent publisher. I thought they were a decades-old storied and respected institution. But apparently they're out of some guy's garage and the best they can do is buy something on Amazon and stuff it into their booth with AstroTurf. Big brains over there at Ubisoft. Big brains. But uh, until next time, guys, good luck out there.